some explanation of what I've been doing for the last week. I just haven't had the, the I've lost the interest in doing this for some reason. I've got it back now. It's just taken me a while. I wasn't feeling too good. I, I just totally lost the desire to sculpt at all. And uh, I go through that every once in a while. It's not detrimental. It's just, I guess my body's saying it's time to take a break. Anyway, I'll get back on him tomorrow. Um, I've been trying to decide what to do as far as the dog goes. Like I said, I've completely lost all interest in it for some reason. And I just, uh, I've, I'm getting it back now. I'm, I'm starting to, you just got to sit down and, and face it. And uh, I'm not forcing it. You can't force creativity. You have to let it happen. And I'm afraid that's what I've been going through is just uh, letting it happen. Um, working on his mouth a little bit, uh, trying to get it right, and then I'm going to decide on how much fur to put on him. I'm thinking of doing a border collie. Uh, they they were out west. Uh, I don't know if they were at this period of time, but uh, there were sheep herders in the Midwest, and... Uh, out in California, so I can imagine a uh, border collie getting, you know, getting away from his master and just getting uh, found out in the wilderness by a mountain man. So who knows? I don't know. Uh, the border collie I like the idea of uh, because uh, I had a friend who had one, and I loved the dog. It was a smart damn dog, and about the same size as this dog would be. So I'm just deciding. I haven't decided completely yet. Just wanted to give you a, a heads up as to, you know, we're not always feeling creative. <laughs> no matter how many years of practice we've got, we still have to overcome ourselves. All right. Good night, everybody.